Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I last recorded a video or even posted a video. Like I have not been recording after my last video, which I forget what what my last video was. But I remember I do remember last year filming like a get ready with me for my birthday. My birthday's coming up and it's crazy that it's like basically almost a year since I last posted a video. Um basically what happened was i if you guys last remember i did mention that i was working full-time and going to school full-time so basically like school started tr stressing me out i barely had time for myself i stopped going to the gym too which like everything just changed and it was just hard for me to even record a video again and try to post it um but yeah but right now i we basically had like the semester off you know like the semester ended so we we're waiting for like the second semester so um basically right now i do have like free time like other than work like i don't do anything so i do have time right now to like just be recording or whatever so basically um one of my goals for 2020 is to start making videos again and posting them um I, I really enjoyed like making the videos when I was making them and then like I said like things just happened so I completely stopped I did plan on going back like after um when I was back when I was in school I tried um making more videos you know like I tried finding free times to be able to make videos but then I got sick <laughs> so basically I was in and out of the hospital trying to like and figure out what's wrong with me or whatever so basically i got my gallbladder removed and then after that i was still in pain so i kept going in and out of the hospital and basically like i had to go through like another procedure or whatever so i was in the hospital for christmas i literally spent my christmas at the hospital this year like what the fuck so yeah basically that's what's been going on so that also distracted me from like focusing on recording videos because i was basically focusing on bettering my health and making sure that i feel better because it was really painful and right now i'm still on antibiotics and it sucks i i really freaking hate it it's so annoying but whatever anything to make me feel better i guess so yeah but today's video i'm just gonna be doing a my go-to makeup what i literally do every day as my makeup literally i do not do eyeshadow at all especially right now i have eyelash ex eyelash extensions so i don't really like do eyeshadow unless it's like a <clears throat> unless it's like a occasion like a big occasion or whatever you know other than that nah like not really but yeah so without further ado let's get started so i always start off with my eyebrows and basically i just got them done like two weeks ago so it's not like so it's easier for me to like actually do them you know so basically for my eyebrow so basically for my eyebrows i start with brushing it with this i don't even think you can see it anymore it's the milan it's the oops it's the milani um brush it comes with the with the pomade that's what i get the brush with the pomade that's what it comes with and i just use the it um to brush out my eyebrows and it's just to make sure that they're not like sticking out they're just like on the same spot where they have to be so that it's easier for me to outline them i just straightened my hair as well too for the video <laughs> so yeah then after brushing them i go with the morphe micro brow pencil this is what it looks like this is what i've been using for my eyebrows recently and i really like the way it works i just use this to outline it and sometimes i use it to shade it in but most of the time i use the milani adept brown to shade it in i am in the color mocha then i'm just gonna outline my eyebrows so when i outline my eyebrows i just start right here i don't start like at the beginning because obviously that's the part you want it to be lighter in they look kind of weird right now but now i'm gonna go with the the morphe dip brow this is also in the color mocha just as body cream but it's really good this like you can see how much i used already i need a new one 
but I go with the Milani um, brow pens. <coughs> <coughs> but I use the Milani brush for it. And then I'm going to start on the outer parts on the outside and then I'll make my way in. This is what they look like. They're kind of crazy right now. Um, basically, as I said, I do not fill in the inside. So for the inside, since it is, since I do like doing it lighter, I use this Maybelline Tattoo Studio crayon um, in the color blonde. This is what it looks like. So it's just like so it has a brush, but like obviously the ink is on the inside. So basically, what I do is just I'll just go up like that. Um, Like brushing it up i don't know if you guys can see that but basically because this is a color blonde it doesn't show as much which is really good because even in the inside it looks kind of weird for me because i don't have as much hair as, as obviously so it looks um so it still looks light compared to the outside because it's darker so it's really nice using this and then i'll do the same for the other one And that's what they look like now you know what i like to do is brush it out with the spoolie i think that's what it's called right i like to brush it up with this and even throughout my whole eyebrow making sure it looks good there you go and then and then to outline my eyebrows i use the elf highlight and concealer duo this is what it looks like I don't know what color this is because I know they have colors, but I don't. This one doesn't have the name on it. So, but I I don't use the highlight. I just use the concealer, and then I'll just outline my eyebrows with this. basically brush it out with the morphe m m165 brush so it looks like it's just curved and pointed and then i'll just brush it out towards my my eyelid obviously you want to be really careful because you can either mess up your eyebrow or whatever <laughs> brushed out my the outline of it so I'll just go back with the pencil and fix that <laughs> then after that to set my eyebrows I go to set my eyebrows I use the elf clear brow and lash mascara it is basically a two-in-one it is also mascara but I use both of them as um just for my brows to set and then i was just go like this so for my foundation i use the Too faced born this way foundation i am in the shade um uh, warm nude and for my brush um for the eye for the, for the foundation brush i use the morphe m6 it's just this it's really nice i've been using this for a while now but first to prime my face i'm gonna use the mario Badescu 
um, facial spray with aloe, the lavender one. This is what it looks like. I just have the small one because I also have the green one. I don't know. It's over there at my table. And then I just spray this all over my face. And then I'm gonna use my foundation and I'll pump some into my finger and then put it on my face. the benefit hula bronzer to bronze my face i i don't i feel like this has a color but i don't know what the color is but yes i used a benefit hula bronzer for my face um this is my favorite as you can see i'm running out already um and to brush that out i used the morphe e4 um brush so just do so, go like that, and then get on my cheekbones. really deep in them like i have sometimes i feel like i have to have some more because i have like big cheeks like i have chubby cheeks so it's kind of hard for me to like try to make them look good you know but whatever so that'll do it so to set my foundation like my face and outline my bronzer i use the airspring loose powder um i use the color translucent i just got this one so it's still brand new um and then i go with my beauty blender i just dip in here and then i'll go like that <laughs> five to ten minutes so what i would do is try to straighten my hair but since my hair is already straight we're just gonna wait here um also i like going with the with the leftover powder and just setting my eye because i noticed it really helps it look good i noticed that if i don't set my eyes with like powder 
it makes them look like really oily in just like a few minutes probably like an hour basically but it looks really oily and that looks not good you know we're just gonna wait until it bakes i mean we can do my lips actually so while we wait for that to bake i'm just gonna get started on my lips so let's moisturize them first so for my for my lips to moisturize them i always switch it up so sometimes i use the carmex lip balm or i use the vaseline lip therapy advanced healing um this is the one i'm gonna go with for now and then on top of that i like applying this blossom scented lip gloss this is what it looks like it has like flowers on the inside it's just the roller one smells so good this one is watermelon salted these are so good these are really low-key though these are hard to find i, f I got this one at Nord nordstrom rack that's where i found i bought three i don't know where the other ones are but i might, might go buy i might go back and buy some more because they're really good so then i've been lately i've been using the nyx soft matte lip cream in the color london <laughs> applying lip gloss on top of it <clears throat> and the lip gloss i use is the ColourPop ultra glossy lip in the color snow it's kind of like a pinkish one so now we're gonna brush out the powder i used this brush um it's the luxe br um, blush brush but i use it to take off the powder um fire that is done i to set my face i use the milani make it last setting spray it's like a two three and one it's a prime correct and set one and it's supposed to last you 16 hours so then i'll just spray this all over my face and then i'll just air dry it and then i'll go with my becca highlight um uh, and champagne pop and this is what it looks like and and for that i'll use the morphe r36 brush i've been using a lot of morphe brushes but they're so good and last you looks like i actually really like it this is what i always do for first but for some reason i feel like it looks different today i don't know why but yeah <laughs> but yeah this is what my makeup looks like this is my go-to makeup this is what i do every day i don't always wear lipstick with lip gloss um normally i'll just apply some lip gloss and that's it but for the purpose of this video i decided to put on the lip it's not even lipstick, it's the lip cream. But it just like gives more color to your lips and makes your face look like you're more glammed up than you actually are. So yeah, this is what my final product looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>